proud moments in my life. I've had numerous students who are extremely talented and give amazing performances. I've received a lot of recognition, but I think my proudest moment doesn't have anything to do with performances or recognition, but rather community support. I remember we had a performance at Wagner, which was on the other side of the district. It was far away, and it was on a Saturday. We were performing for the Jingle Bell Jamboree to help raise money for the Judson Education Foundation. And the weather was terrible. It, the frigid temperatures, we had rain. That Friday afternoon, a lot of the after-school activities had been canceled. And so I was really worried that I wouldn't have anybody show up when we were the first act in the morning. And when I pulled into the parking lot, it was pretty barren. And I got in there and I started setting up my instruments and students were trickling in and uh, all of a sudden we started performing. And I realized that every one of my instrumentalists had shown up. At the end of the concert, I turned around to thank the parents for bringing their students. And I was just overwhelmed by the crowd. We just had this huge crowd that was surrounding us. And we were in a huge cafeteria, but because of the crowd surrounding us, it just felt so cozy, like we were in a living room built just for us. And as I started to thank the parents, I just, I just started crying. And at that moment, you could just hear a collective sigh in the audience. And that, I, I could feel that they appreciated me just as much as I appreciated them. And just that mutual love and respect that we had, um, it's, it's a moment I'll never forget. I think my biggest challenge came was when our campus became a dual language campus. I immediately enrolled in classes and completed all seven semester courses and took numerous summer conversational courses. I also invested a lot of money in resources to teach Spanish through music. So I enlisted the help of the Spanish speaking students and the teachers and I would teach class in Spanish and they would correct me. And now I feel confident in my ability to teach classes in Spanish and to teach Spanish through music. Our students had the opportunity to be introduced to instruments uh, from various countries as well as music. So that's one of the things too that I think I found her to be an, a big asset in the development of uh, dual language at Coronado. So I did some research and found out that some of the world's best musicians have never read a note of standard notation. So this really affected how I teach. I began teaching ukulele, marimba, and drums by using any means necessary. Uh, sometimes I write out the letter names of the notes, or I teach it by rote, by modeling, by mirroring, or even putting my hands right on top of their hands. She uses a world drumming technique, also mixed in maybe with a little bit of ORF, with all different techniques, and she blends it together in a very unique way to excite students. My goal for my students is to give them the gift of music and hope it does for them what it has done for me. When I was in elementary school, I, had, well, I was ADHD, but back in those days it just meant BAD, which also meant LOW. So I was bored in the slow classes and it was obvious that my teachers didn't like me or want me. My grades plummeted, my self-esteem plummeted. It wasn't until I started learning to play music that I discovered that I could be good at something. And soon I started taking pride in myself and my work. And now I see a little bit of myself in each and every one of my students. I feel truly blessed to be able to do what I love for a living, which is teaching music. And this is what I want for my students, for them to grow up and to be able to do something that they love for a living.